Hey, this is Latif Mikado, and you're listening to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, where I take some time each night to try and reflect on the freestyle scene, where it is, where it's going, and try to figure out how to sustain it, not just for future generations to enjoy, but also to benefit. So sit back, relax, and let's talk some freestyle. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Latif, and I am back. Uh, welcome to episode 15 of the Good Night Freestyle Podcast. Now, tonight's podcast is a little different. It's actually a little funny. Um, let me back up a little bit. First of all, the intentions that I had with this podcast and the reason why I opt to... Um, to produce it very, very low tech, meaning I can pretty much do this podcast anywhere I'm at. I spoke about this before. I did it so that way if I'm on the road, it doesn't get interrupted. I can do it on an airplane. I can do it in the airport, the bathroom, in my car, in Walmart. It doesn't matter. So I don't know if you guys can hear. We got a little noise going on. The reason being is I am outside my house. Right now, I actually have the my setup on my on the on the hood of my Jeep, and it's a beautiful night. I'm talking about I could sleep out here. It's just it's perfect, man. This is kind of weather I want all year long. <laughs> you know, very comfortable. But anyway, so this is the deal. The night before last, we went from a now. I remind you, I live in North Carolina, a small little old town in North Carolina. I live in a subdivision, okay? Houses, a lot of houses. Um, They're from like, I think the early 2000s. So probably like, I don't know, 2000. I don't think they're 1999. I think they're like 2000, these houses. Um, Really nice homes, very conservative, three twos, nothing fancy. However, however, whenever there's a problem, whenever there's a storm, heavy rain, um, heavy winds, something happens. We either lose our cable, we lose our electricity, we lose our telephone, whatever the case may be. Now, I don't care, you know, once in a while I could lose the, the, the cable for, for a night or whatever, I could lose um, the phone for a night, that's fine. I could always, I can always work around that, especially with my phone. What I can't lose is my freaking electricity, okay? And that's what we lost. Now, I knew there was a problem because we were getting surges all day. Well, yesterday we were getting surges, and then this morning we were getting surges, and I knew it, and I said it. I said, our power is going to go off. And sure enough, it did. Of course, the first thing I ask is, hey, Angel, did we pay the bill? (laughs) So, yeah, we always pay our bill, so we're good. Bill was fine. Bill was paid. And what I did is I... um. I came outside and I go to my neighbor right next door. Their meters, I can see their meter. So I go up to their meter. Sure enough, their meter's blank. I go to my right side of the other house. Their meter's blank also. So I know it's the neighborhood. Next thing you know, I, you know, all you have to do is stand outside for a little while. You'll start seeing people coming out to see if there's anybody else going through the same thing. So it's funny. So we're all waving at each other, say, hey, power's off. Yeah, power's off. So, and then there's always that one person. Usually my wife who calls right away and what they say is, hey, there was a a power outage in the neighborhood. So um, so that's the kind of neighborhood um, I live in. Um, I remember one time it rained and my cable that was buried, that's buried under the front yard, was actually got exposed. I don't know how that happened, but when I had it fixed, the guy brought me outside and showed me like the next day or... um, and he showed me, he showed me where the, he said, uh, first of all, they didn't bury it deep enough. Um, and uh, and you can see the why. I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow. I said, I could be doing that, you know, with the lawnmower. It would have cut it. It would have cut it. So that's the kind of neighborhood I live in. Um, it's still cool. I still like this place. I live in a really nice place, man. Um, I love this place. My kids grew up here. Now my grandchildren are growing up. 
Um, I'm right off of a cul-de-sac, so very limited traffic through my neighborhood. Uh, we have a speed bump, so you might hear a car or two come by. Uh, highway is like right outside my subdivisions. Uh, that's um, 74, Highway 74. So I can hear the noise from here. I don't know if you guys catch it. Uh, but that's fine if you do get used to it because this is the kind of podcast I want to do. I don't want it to be perfect. I don't want it. I don't want to just be in the studio, in the office, and, and just trying to be yeah, have everything perfect. I want I want it to be a little flawed, make it a little bit real. So, but but let, let's let's go back to um <laughs> to what was going down. Okay, so the night before last, we got like pretty much all day. We get tornado warnings. Right? It's a, no, it'll be a tornado watch. Okay, so warning means it's here. Watch means they're watching it. So I don't pay it much mind. I, and I shouldn't. I shouldn't say this because God forbid tornadoes do some serious damage. I've seen serious devastation, not life. Uh, the only thing I've ever seen serious devastation was. Uh, a Hurricane Camille in Mississippi when I was real little. I went down there like right after that and I seen destruction firsthand. But I've never seen firsthand a tornado hit. Um, I've never even seen a tornado in the sky. You know, would I like to? Yeah, I would love to as long as it's not coming my way. Um, but they are really, really dangerous and they're, they're vicious, man. They're vicious. And, you know, our homes are basically cookie cutters. We got some brick, but the rest of it is framed house. So um, it's going to go. If they come, if it hits head on, my, my house is gone. Do I have insurance? Yeah, I have it. But shit, what about the stuff I have inside? You know, that's what worries me more than anything, especially my work. My computer is like, I think about this all the time, but you know what? I really don't do anything about it. I have stuff on my Google Drive. Okay, cool. But there's still a ton of stuff on my computers and my, I have what, one, two, three, I have about four or five computers in there, laptops and everything I do. I, I have a, a different computer for different things, depending on what I'm doing. Um, I just like to move around a bit. But so the day that we had the tornado watch, okay, right away, my wife. God bless her. <laughs> but she's already planning everything. Okay? Now, all we have in our house that's safe, okay, is a section by our second bathroom where the kids' rooms would be. So we have a bathroom, and then on the two sides, we have the two kids' room. It was Adam and Erica's room. Neither one is there, so one's now a guest room. and Well, sort of guest room. It's storage right now because we're making some changes and moving some stuff around. Uh, Erica still has her stuff. We got to ship out to Germany. So it's a little messy right now. And then we have Adam's room, which is now Santana's room, and and, and the other babies when they come over, um, my other grandkids. So... Um, so we have this little section there that we can go in, and so we're blocked off by a couple of walls. So we're, we're good. It's a, it's actually a pretty decent place, okay? So tornado watch. I'm in my office. I'm not paying it much mind. I'm busy. I'm working. Angel's coming in every few months. She's giving I mean, <laughs> every few minutes, giving me the update. It's in Wingate. Now it's in Indian Trail. Oh, it's in Charlotte. Now it's here. It's heading towards us. It just made a turn. I mean, she's tracking. She's she's a freaking uh, tornado tracker, you know? So, um, um, storm chaser. That's what she is, a storm chaser. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> so, um, so anyway, um, so finally we get to a point where she comes in her eyes are huge she's got santana she was it's a tornado warning they said to take shelter this is what they said i'm like oh my god so i'm pretty calm right away i'm gonna walk around grab a few of my prized possessions they're usually cameras <laughs> i'm not really grabbing much more like everything else i'm figuring out, okay i'll just walk around the neighborhood and look for it oh god forbid i, I don't ever want to go through that but yeah i grab a couple of my cameras my more prized possession cameras they're not even the most expensive ones just the ones i love the most because i have a really expensive movie camera that uh i don't even grab that one <laughs> it's like but um but so we go into this little section, 
she goes and she grinds. Now, this is not a big section. This is a little tiny hallway, you know, which makes it ideal for what we're doing because it's not too much to, to move around. You know, you're pretty much, you're, you're, you're guarded by walls and actually like double walls and doors. So you're pretty cool. And we have to bring chairs in there. And then she wants to bring a mattress. I'm like, you can't bring a mattress in here. First of all, the mattress is not going to fit. So now, you guys know I do film, I do, I do sound, audio. I have moving blankets. I have a bunch of those. So I have to go out. I grab the moving blankets from my office. I bring them in. Now, these things are really, really heavy. If there's any glass flying and you throw this over you, that glass is not going to touch you. You're going to be fine, you know. But what's happening is we're sitting there. Okay, now all of a sudden the dog gets loose, Coco gets loose. I cannot find her leash. I just had her leash. I can't find it. So I'm, I'm walking around the house really quickly and she's in our little section. And she's yelling at me, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. And she's watching her phone and she's tracking this freaking tornado. And, and I'm walking and <clears throat> I'm walking and and I'm look I'm trying to grab the dog, but she's yelling at me. You gotta hurry up, grab Coco, grab. And she's now. My wife has a powerful diaphragm. Okay, she can actually perform on stage in in a freaking arena with no microphone. I'm dead serious. She's very loud. She projects. She can't even whisper. I tell her, please don't whisper. I can hear you across the from the other side of the house. You know. So, but anyway, so she's yelling at me. <laughs> and I'm trying to grab Coco, but she's scaring Coco by yelling. And I'm like, but you're scaring, you're scaring her. I said, I said, I said, calm down, let me get her. Now Coco doesn't know what's up. Cause now Coco usually comes to me like with no problem. She'll come right away. Now Coco's like running, like I'm going to go kill her or something. She got her tail between her legs and she's dipping, man. Like I can't, I have an open floor plan in my house. So, you know, you go from the living room, dining room into the kitchen. So I'm chasing this damn dog around and she's yelling even louder. And she's not understanding. I'm trying to tell her, I'm like, you can't keep yelling. I said, you're scaring her. I'm not going to be able to grab her. I said, she's going to have to be on her own in a minute. No, you can't leave her out there. Now I can't find her collar. I mean, her leash. I can't find it. I just had it. I, I usually hang it on either the doorknob. I hang it over a chair. I have a thing by the door where I can hang it on this little nail. Can't find it anywhere. So I grab an extension. I had an extension, a big, actually, it was one of those big green extension cords uh, for the Christmas tree. Now we had taken down the Christmas tree, but I still had a few things on the side. So I grabbed this cord. Now I'm chasing Coco and this is a hundred foot or, yeah, I think this is a hundred foot cord. Okay, don't ask me why I got a hundred foot, but it was a hundred foot cord. I think because I was using it for the outside lights. I don't remember, but yeah, that makes sense. So I got this huge, thick, green, heavy, Christmas cord and I'm chasing my dog around the house with this thing and she's losing her mind and I'm like and I, I'm dragging this thing like I'm trying to grab it half of it is dragging finally I get her in the corner and I'm worried now she might bite me because she's scared as hell and then finally I grab her and I'm able to take the the cord and just kind of like loop it into her collar and kind of double it up you know and then I'm trying to now she doesn't want to come now I'm basically dragging her like she doesn't know where I'm taking her. So she's, you know, doing the whole sitting down and I'm basically dragging her and I don't want to drag her. So finally I bend down, I grab her, I pick her up and I bring her to the thing and we, we stay there and then finally nothing happens. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we have, this is so funny because we have a train, one of those cargo trains that pass by like every night, okay? And you hear it, like we might hear it tonight, uh, I don't know. But sometimes I can't even record a podcast because I can hear it. And trust me, it's far from here. It's nowhere close to me. It, it's probably a good, I don't know, eight minute drive from me. And I can hear it loud and clear when I work late at night. So all of a sudden, and me and her were just talking, <laughs> talking about one of the, the descriptions they do when they talk about tornado, they say it sounds like a train. So now we're sitting there, <laughs> and we, <laughs> we're sitting there and we hear, and she's like, what's that? Is that the tornado? I said, no, I think that's actually a train. <laughs> that's the actual train. <laughs> and, and it was, it was the train. So, um, but, um, but anyway, everything blew over. 
everything was fine. However, it was extremely windy because when it rains here, I can get out on my porch and which I like to do, I've spoken to you guys about this before, is I love the rain. So sometimes if it's pouring, I would come up on my porch and sit down and just take it all in. Like I'm in my glory at that point, okay? Um, but when I opened up my front door to, to even step out, I couldn't because the, the wind was, was flying sideways and the rain was going sideways. So as soon as I opened the door, that rain was coming into my house. So I had to close the door, you know? Um, so it was pretty, um, it, it rained really, really hard. Now I did have my garbage cans out and I'm, they were supposed to pick up the garbage. So my two cans were out, my recycle bin and my other one. And that was the first thing. Now the last thing I hate doing, and I've had to do it, is be out in the middle of the street picking up freaking garbage, okay? Because you know, you got nastiness in there and I hate touching that shit. So, but the wind, surprisingly, maybe because we have so much damn garbage in it, but the wind did not tip over either one of my cans. So I was really uh, thankful for that because that, that becomes a mess and my cans are under this big street light so anyway, um, so right now, um, so 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 this morning, uh, I kept getting the surges. Uh, my computer went out like two, three times. I knew there was a problem. I was just hoping it would stabilize. And at one point, it went on, and I was able to work for a little bit. And then next thing you know, pew, everything shut down. I was like, damn. So at that point, they said they were coming and they were working on the, they were gonna work on it and they were hoping to get everything back up and, up and running before 5 p.m. That did not happen. So and then we actually left before five. We left about four. We said, well, there's nothing we could do here. Let's, let's get out. Let's go do what we have to do. Let's go store, run a few errands. Hopefully when we come back, it'll be on. Absolutely not. Um, it's uh, so it's not on. <laughs> so um, uh, so right now, the, the good thing about it, though, it's comfortable. Like so you wouldn't need heat or you wouldn't need air at this point. You could just the house is perfect. So um, we went, we got some candles and we got some flashlights and we'll never prepare for this stuff, man. You know, I could buy a brand new flashlight set. And by the time I need it, I forgot where I put it, and I don't have batteries. So, uh, so we went out. We just stopped off in uh, Walmart. Just picked up a set for me, her, and uh, and Santana. And uh, I was gonna go in the office and bring a candle and do the podcast. But it was such a nice night, and I told her, I said, "Hey, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go outside and do the podcast." You know? So she said, "Oh, okay, that's a good idea." I said, "Yeah," you know. So that's what we're doing right now. Um, so I'm hoping that by the morning, I think as we get up so damn early, like we'll be up. At, first of all, we have to put Santana on the bus by five, six o'clock, 6 a.m. So, but I'm up anyway at 5 a.m. So it's like, okay, 5 a.m., what, what the hell am I doing? I mean, uh, it's still gonna be dark. So there's really not much I can do, you know, um, so until it gets light. Then at least maybe I can sit down and read or whatever. I don't wanna read, you know, with a flashlight. That's annoying, but, uh, but yeah, so you know, so that's that's what's going on tonight. You know, that's the thing with these towns. I mean, they're beautiful. Um, it, I love living out here. Uh, we've been out here now. I think we moved out here in 2006 because yeah, I think we got yeah we moved here 2006 from the Bronx. Uh, so we've been out here for for quite a quite a while now. Um, I remember moving out here for the first time and. Uh, I loved it, man. I still do. Like, I have no desire to live in New York, to move back to New York. So, um, uh, it's really cool. You don't really have to worry about crime. Like, you, every place has crime, but a lot of times when the crime occurs here, it's people coming from outside, you know. There's no uh, mass transportation here. There's no buses or trains. There's no way of getting here unless you're driving or, um, you know, take a cab or Uber or something. But there's no... Uh, no, there's no buses that come this far in, you know, that they go in Charlotte. Charlotte's a little bit more citified. Uh, I have no desire to live there. I'm only about 25 minutes from Charlotte, from Charlotte about 35 minutes from uh, Charlotte Douglas Airport, which is where we, we fly out of. A, and it's a straight run. I get right on the highway right outside my, um, my subdivision. I go straight. That's it. Straight. We don't have to make any turns. This thing takes us. The only turn that we make 
is the one into the airport that's how crazy it is so it's actually really cool so but i love this area you know um i brought my kids here my son tried going back to new york um he didn't like it he, he didn't like it they started calling him country <laughs> country <laughs> hey country <laughs> yo so he moved out here when was he 15 um and erica was here you know um he's 20 they're 10 years apart so yeah so she was five years old when we moved here so this is all Erica knows. Erica knows nothing about New York, you know? They were both born there. Adam was born in Brookdale Hospital in Brooklyn, and um, Erica was born in uh, Flushing Hospital in Queens, and I was born in the Bronx, so it's crazy. Um, we covered the boroughs, well, almost. We needed somebody from Staten Island. Angels from the Bronx also, but. Um, and then our grandkids were all born here in North Carolina, so they're all, they're all some Southern rednecks. But, um, but yeah, so. That's the deal with out here. It's cool. I mean, it, it, this is one of the reasons why I don't run La Radio. Of course, I wouldn't do as good a job as Fernando does. Um, he's always run the station um, for the past several years. Um, and before that, he did a lot, a lot of uh, work with La Radio Live. But um, I can't run it here because it's not reliable. And if I go on the road and the station shuts down or that we get a power surge, we always get power surges. And I can tell because I keep my computers on 24-7. My computers stay on 24-7. I do never, I never shut down my computers. So when I, when I come back from someplace and I notice that my computer is, is off, um, it's because there was a power surge or the power went down or sometimes my clock is flashing or the clock on the stove is flashing. So we always know when there's uh, some sort of power surge uh, that happens, you know. But, um, yeah, so anyway, so that's what's going on tonight. So it's going to be an interesting night now. What I'm going to do is uh, I like a fan on me. I like to be really cool, extra cool. I'm going to probably take a Tylenol PM. I just want to get through. I want to sleep this bit away. <laughs> I don't want to. I really don't. They're in there all excited. Angel Santana, like they're, like they're doing it, like they're camping out or something. I'm like, man, I ain't camping out. <laughs> I'm going to go sleep get up and hopefully these people you know get this shit together man it's like crazy it's like yo you know do we get like any kind of like bonus do you know the, the, you know there's like <laughs> it's crazy it's like we have to we get a fine we get a fee if we're late on any of our electricity payments but then if the pay if the electricity goes down you know ain't nobody giving us a bone we don't get no credit applied okay for you know for every day you get, you know, we'll throw you in there. We'll take, you know, we'll take one day's off of your bill or whatever. <laughs> so, but, uh, but yeah, man. So, but that's what's going on tonight. Uh, but it's a nice night. Um, I'm, I'm chilling and about to shut down in a second and just call it quits. But, you know, other than that, not much happening with work. Everything was shut down. Um... A uh, couple shows are locking in. I'll give you guys more information uh, tomorrow about that. So, so far I got one, two, I got like three or four shows locked. Um, so, it's cool because we're still in January and that's the whole thing. You want to try to get as many shows, at least uh, kind of spread off, spread throughout the year within the first two months of the year. <clears throat> and that, that kind of proves that you're going to have a really comfortable uh, run. Uh, and you'll be out there gigging enough and... You know, we just like to, you know, it's just easiest than, it's easier than us, uh, you know, shopping, you know, shopping shows, you know, from day to day or from week to week. This way, uh, we already have our schedule. We can plan around it. If we have any get togethers, if we're going to do any weddings or anything, we, we pretty much have our schedule ahead of time. And that's important, especially when you got a big family, everybody's got something going on. Um, so, but anyway, uh, that's pretty much it people um i just want to share that with you um i don't know how this thing is gonna sound i'm hoping it sounds good uh i'm really comfortable out here i think this is this is cool i'm, I'm actually just looking around um and uh all right guys so until tomorrow oh, oh before i forget before i forget so tomorrow afternoon which is which will be uh the 16th right uh, I'm going to be putting up the Goodnight Freestyle Facebook page, okay? So definitely go in there, find it. Uh, go in there, uh, like the page. Um, and what you can do 
is you can ask questions that correspond to the actual episode. So um, I post the actual episode with the link to the episode consistently on it. So you can just go in there. If you missed the episode, you can link from there. You can listen in. And if you have any questions, you can leave the questions there. And I will answer them when I get to them. You know, so I'm usually good. So, but just uh, I got to kind of put that little disclaimer just in case I get caught up and I can't get right to it. But other than that, I always try to, uh, I do my best to try to get on it, answer it. So, all right, guys, I, I really appreciate it. You know, I um, hope you're having a nice night. I hope you have lights on tonight. Uh, I hope you didn't have to go to McDonald's to eat dinner. I hope, you know, you guys can put your air on or your heat, depending on where you live in the country. <laughs> so, but, so until then, good night, Freestyle. Before I lay me down to sleep, I pray to hear a freestyle beat. For if I die before I wake, I hope to make it to the break.